Hey everybody, John Ricky Karamatsu. Hope you're doing fine. I want to talk about a little bit in the area of rest because, you know, I recently had a, I guess you could say my second minor burnout. And I know it's coming. Every 90 to 100 days of just like go, go, go. I know, I can feel it coming. It's, it's that, in fact, you don't even have feeling. I feel like you lose feelings. You have apathy. You don't care. You want to be alone. Your happiness and your mood goes lower and lower. You try, like I try to up myself with exercise and doing some fun things, but I realize that's not enough. And that's when I know I need a, a vacation. If not going somewhere else, at least giving my time to relax and rest and heal myself. The brain, like your body, takes up a lot of energy. About 20% of your energy is your brain. And it can light a light bulb dimly. That's still a lot of power. And it does drain you know drain you if you if you overuse it. Same thing with your body. If you, if you ran marathons and and if you're constantly running right now or or lifting weights or whatever, you know what it feels like when you're tired after a major workout session. Same thing with 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 using you know your brain or if you're a knowledge worker or your body if you're a physical labor worker. Both use your your energy level and. When you're doing that constantly over and over and over, it, it just wears you down. And that's what happens to me. And and I did some research and, you know, vacation does benefit you. Taking that time off does help heal you. And one report said about eight days is good and you start to feel that 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 recuperation. And then, you know, like for me, after about eight, nine days, even like two week vacations when I used to have those, uh, I feel like I'm ready to come back to work. I'm ready to like get back in the grind. I shouldn't say that word, but get back into the flow. Yeah, flow is better. And that's what I did recently. Yes, I did answer phone calls. Yes, I responded to emails. I did small work and they say don't even do that. Just cut yourself out from technology. Have a auto responder saying you're on vacation or something like that so i didn't totally follow the rules but it does it did still heal me and now i feel more emotions i uh less apathy it's coming back i'm getting that drive i had a good meeting with a new client um i'm feeling that i'm having another meeting with a client yes i gotta do some work for legal legal work and i have a real estate sale coming coming through hopefully knock on wood coming through this week or or, or soon um, and then my passion in writing uh, fiction for my screenplays and trying to put together my film project. It's something I got to make time for. And I realize it does bring me joy to power through the legal work or the investment type of work I do for my clients. I need to work on my own brand. I've been neglecting my own personal uh, passion, my own brand. It's been pushed to the back burners and I need to spend some time with it. It's a child. It needs to be taken care of. It needs to be loved. So, you know, that's my aha moment right now is like I'm realizing the hustle culture can kill you, literally kill you, give you a heart attack, raise your blood pressure. And there's studies with correlation that, yeah, your lifespan can get shorter with stress, overwork, fatigue. That balance is for real, guys. So I wanna leave that message with you and do your best to take care of your mental health and your physical health. Take care and have a great day. Bye.